all right now let's look at record types in the system now what are record types record types allow you to segregate business processes based on a single object right now a good use case for our application would be let's say the covid tracker application right under which we have the covid counts object now let's say we want to track the 2019 variant the 2020 variant and probably the 2021 variant right three different variants now how do we tackle three different variants inside a single object right so you can create different record types for it so let's go to setup and let's go to object manager and under object manager let's move to the covid count object and here we have talked about details we have talked about fields and relationships we have talked about page layouts now we'll be talking about record types all right so under record types so you see there's no record type right now we can go ahead and create a new record type or let's let's name it del delta variant one and let's keep it active and let's say this will track this will track 2019 and 2020 cases only all right so this is active and when you create a record type it asks you what kind of profile should have visibility to the record type okay so as usual we'll make it available only for the profiles that are currently in use for the covid tracker application that is the system admin and the support manager profile let's click on next and now once you have a, a record type you get to choose a page layout for your record type okay so i'll just assign the covid count layout page layout for now and just click on save and new all right so that's the first record type that we have created now i'll be creating the second record type that would track the 2021 cases only okay i'll name it delta variant 2 and let's act activate it and let's make this also available to the support manager and the system admin so if you can see that they already have the access to the delta variant one and which has been set as the default record type for them because there was no record type beforehand but now th since there is that's been set as the default if you want to change it to the delta variant 2 to be as the to be the default uh, record type we can do that as well all right so you can just use the make default option and you can just select it okay let's click on next and let's assign a page layout to this as well let's assign the covid count layout for now and let's click on save so now we have two record types in the system right let's let's try to understand how this would look like now so let's go to the record to the list view page and let's try to create a new record now and you see the record de de the record creation page does not open up but before that you have a screen that says select a record type Right? Now since the admin guy has access to both the record types, he's being able, he has an opportunity to choose among them. Right? Similarly, if, if I were to log in with the support manager profile, that guy would also have access to both. But let's say the support manager profile is a newer profile and it has come into picture only after the 2021 cases came up. Right? In that case, let's give only the delta variant to access to the support manager profile and let the admin create records for both of them. Okay? So what do I have to do? I'll have to go to the setup again go to the record types and here and here what i can do is i can just go to delta variant one edit and i don't have any space to change the profile level setting from here so what i'll have to do is i'll have to do, go to the profile level now so let's go to profiles So this is the support manager profile right and here if you see there's something called record type settings this section right here right so under record type settings if you see our object should be somewhere down below right so custom record type settings and for covid counts the support manager profile has access to both right i can go ahead and edit it and when i edit it i can easily move this particular variant one record type and make it available but not as a selected that means the only selected record type will be visible to the support manager guy okay and this would be the default record type as well let's click on save so now the administrator has access to both the record types that means this admin guy can create cases for 2019 till 2021 but the support manager guy can only create cases for 2021 and newer use cases newer covid count cases right now how does this how does this come in handy let's see with an example 
let's go back to the object manager and let's go to the COVID count object and here let's go to the page layout okay what I'll do is I'll create two page layouts I'll call the first one delta variant one layout and I'll call the second one delta variant two layout all right I'll just save this and I'll just create one more and I'll clone the support manager layout for now and I'll call it delta variant 2 now I have two layouts created now in total we have four layouts now how do I assign these new page layouts to my profiles simple right we discussed this it's on the page layout assignment so if I go to the page layout assignment and click on the edit assignment button here you see now you can assign a specific page layout for a specific record type right here so what I'll do is for the system admin guy here I'll assign the delta variant 1 layout and here I'll assign the delta variant 2 layout right similarly for the support manager I'll assign the delta variant 1 but ideally this won't be available to this guy because we have removed the record type access right so but I'll still keep it assigned like this and let's click on save so the newer new assignments have been done and the new record types have different page layouts right now this comes in handy because if you want to show or hide fields or if you want to show or hide values based on the record type you can very well do it using the record type and page layout configuration okay let's go back to the page layout and let's say the support manager guy should not be should not be seeing the comments field also and I can just save it right this was possible with just making a page layout for a profile and assigning it to it assigning it to it right if I go to the record types there's one more additional thing I can do is if I go to the delta variant 2 you'll see that I have some pick lists available for editing so which means if there's a day category pick list or any any pick lists that are available in the system you can configure the values that you want to show specific to a record type so here for delta variant 2 the day category available should be orange and green let's say we don't want red as the alternative okay just two pick list options and I'll default this to green and let's click on save okay now once I do it let's see how things look like for the admin and then the support manager guy and let's create a new record so I'm creating it as an admin so I'm getting a choice first of all whether delta variant 1 or 2 so if I go to delta variant 1 let's say and click on next the delta variant 1 page layout comes up right you see all the fields coming up here so I can just populate the values with relevant information I have the comment section here the day category if you see we have all the three values I can select red I can check this box and click on save right so you are able to see how things look like for the admin what if I wanted to create a new case for covid count for 2021 I can do that as well as logged in as the admin right so I'm opening the second record type you see how the page layout is different I'll just go ahead and, and input these values and click on save so as an admin I'm able to create records for both the record types and I see a difference in the page layout the comments field is not there right now let's look at how things look like for the support manager guy let's go to profiles and let's log in as the support manager let's go to COVID counts and let's click on the new button so if you see by default you are getting to create a new COVID count with delta variant 2 because you just have access to one record type and the corresponding page layout is opened up right so this is how you can segregate information we were not able to see that day category change let's check that out also let me just log out once I think it's not available on the page layout let's add it on the page layout page layouts and we want to just add the day category option in the delta variant 2 layout right so let's move the day category field on the page layout okay and this is only because we want to see how the pick list values that are available differ for different record types we already saw that for the for the delta variant one we were able to select any of the three values that was either red orange or green now let's go ahead and log in as the support manager let's go to view users and now log in and see how things look like for the second record type 
so we have the day category and you see this is defaulted to green and this has just two values right so record this was a very small use case that i explained but uh, record types come in handy when you have different kind of business processes for a single object right your account could have a, an organization a different company a private limited a public limited an llc so all these if if they have different use cases and different pipelines or streamlines you can segregate them on the basis of record types you can create different page layouts for them assign those page layouts to the profile as well as the record type and display values on the picklist fields based on each record type that you have right cool